Welcome to beautiful Paradise Cove. Now here's one thing about this place, guys. The parking is very expensive unless you eat at the restaurant, but the catch there is the restaurant is expensive too because the last time I was here, I ate at the restaurant. So either way, they're gonna get their money out of you. But if you don't wanna pay the insane prices for the parking here, you can park out on the street, which I'll show you guys where I parked a little bit later on. Yeah, look at that. Monday through Friday, 35 bucks to park down here. Weekends and holidays, 50 bucks. So I guess the only downside, if you wanna call it that, is if you park on the street, you gotta walk quite a ways down the mountain here, down the driveway to actually get to the beach. But if you're physically fit, you can do it. And when we get to the bottom, you'll see why it's worth a visit. So when you get to the bottom of the hill, you'll see this welcome sign in a bunch of different languages. Bem-vindos! Come with me! This is going to show us around Paradise Cove, guys. He's going to be the tour guide for the rest of the video. Beautiful! But it's cold! <laughs> Wow, guys, check this out. Actually, the last time I was here, there was beach right through here. And I still have a video of it. I'm not sure if I have it with me. I'll put it on while I'm editing the video if I have it. But right where you see all these rocks here, that used to be all beach the last time I was here, which was about three years ago. And no more beach. It's gone. It's totally gone. Check the birds up there just chilling. You can tell that's totally their spot. I think I got a picture of them last time up there too. They're always here. Let's go check out the pier. One thing I can tell you guys that's really different here is the water level is so much higher than before. Actually, the last time we stayed at the beach, we stayed right on the other side of this building. I'm going to try to walk over there a little bit later to see if it's even possible to go there anymore. But it looks like the beach is basically disappearing here which is a funny story because that's been the story in miami ever since i've lived there the whole beach restoration thing and you know if it wasn't for them repairing the beach every few years there would be no beach over there and i'm guessing that might be the reason why there's no beach here anymore but the views here are very beautiful and actually the last time I was here was quite a bit warmer than today. Today's just downright chilly. It's like 64 degrees right now. Last time I was here was in the mid 70s. So quite a bit warmer with all the birds. Yeah, I don't know about this pier either. I feel like this pier is probably not being maintained very well. It just almost looks crooked. Like a big wave could just take this whole thing down. No one's cleaning that up. Disgusting. Man, I wonder if this place has actually gone a little bit downhill since the last time I was here. Could be. A lot can change in three years, I suppose. And there we have the mighty Pacific. Now, I gotta say, a couple of thoughts on my mind here after not being here for three years and now visiting a few different beaches in California that it, I didn't come to before. This probably would not be my favorite beach anymore. It was the last time I was here, but now that I've been here again and visited even more beaches, I have to hand it to being my favorite right now at this point, being uh, Hermosa Beach. That's definitely my favorite at this moment. And of course over there is the famous restaurants down here in Paradise Cove. And it is pretty pricey, but it's nice to have all that outdoor seating out there by the beach. That's pretty neat. So I would say that'd be pretty cool to dine right there. And actually, I don't remember them having so much outdoor seating like that last time we were here. So just for the experience alone, that might be pretty cool. And we got surfers out there catching some waves right in the background. Look at that. Those guys just got drenched over there, man. If your table's too close to the water, you might be having a wet dinner. Not a wet dream. <laughs> you know, these birds look beautiful sitting right here, 
But I gotta tell you, when you're at the beach, they're a big pain in the ass because they will come and steal your Be food careful. in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was just saying over there on the pier, babe, that my favorite beach now would be I have my Hermosa favorite. Beach. Ah, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Hermosa <laughs> Beach is cool and Manhattan. But the last time we were here, this definitely took the cake. This was yeah. my favorite beach here. That was our favorite one. Yours too? I don't know what's happening here, man. I think it's kind of going downhill, this beach. I think it's just the time of the Maybe. I don't know. What time is it? The only way to know is to come back again and find out a different day. Right now it's 5.47. Maybe if we come during the day, we can explore more like earlier in the day. Okay. We'll see. Like right here, guys, this used to be all beach the last time we were here. And we had to walk on the other side of here to get a little bit of privacy because it was very busy. And now the water is just like completely taking control over here, as you can see. Whew, look at that. It's coming all the way up here sometimes too, so I'm trying to time this right. Yeah. <laughs> trying to run past this part we don't get creamed by the next wave. <laughs> oh my God. There's like no beach left over here. Man, I remember the waves being strong here last time, guys, but holy shit. They're really, really crushing this beach. They're rolling. I remember last time we were here, I went like right around here somewhere. The water was kind of calm and then all of a sudden I looked back behind me and there's like a 10 foot wave coming up over my head. Kind of like this right now. It's kind of calm. You get out there, think it's going to be fine and boom. Yeah, I remember staying somewhere right around here actually the last time we came to this beach and there's practically no beach left now. I'm not sure if I have any pictures or videos of it, but if I do, I'll put them up on screen. I might not. What happened here? I don't know. Looks like a grave or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think maybe somebody passed. I don't know. Hmm. But this definitely would not be my favorite beach anymore because, well, look at there's no beach left. So kind of hard to come to the beach when there's no beach. Forget about putting down a towel or a chair or anything. You're going to get wiped out here. Look at all these bugs. I have no idea what they are. They look like they're grasshoppers or something. They're hopping around actually. They're not flying. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. No. Strange. Man, that power of the Pacific Ocean. Look at that. Rushing all the way up this hill. Incredible. So down here, of course, you have the parking lot, the pay station, the restaurant, all that good stuff. And actually, the last time I was here, this place was jam-packed. It was hard to even get a parking spot here, but today is a Tuesday afternoon, and the last time I was here, it could have been a weekend or a holiday or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it was a lot busier. So here you go. If you want to park for free when you come to Paradise Cove, you can see the signs up there. That's where the entrance is. There's a couple parking spots across the street over there, or you can park where I parked, all the way up here where you see my Jeep up ahead. So you can't park anywhere here next to the guardrail, and they have some parking on the other side of the street. So it is a little bit of a walk, but you save 30 bucks. But I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed coming back here three, three years later, just the way everything looks and how the beach is disappearing. I know that's the natural way of things when it comes to the ocean, but come on guys. At least they have some nice and pretty flowers right next to the entrance over here by the beach. 
Yeah, I remember they had outdoor seating before here. I feel like obviously there's way more now due to the virus. <clears throat> Check it out. This marks the spot. Surf and Safari, the Beach Boys. I'm sure a lot of people watching knows what that is. 1962, man, that was a long time ago. So like you guys can see, they offer like cabana service here as well as the restaurant. But it is kind of later, you know, it's getting closer to sunset. You got the moon up there too, by the way. Very pretty. I wanted to take you guys on the other side of this rock, but now I just realized that my friend said the best time to come here is at low tide. Because obviously, if we try going over there now, we're going to get creamed by the waves. So at least they do have some amenities here if you need them. They got men and women's bathrooms, showers. But you know what, guys? I'm not really sure if I can recommend this place anymore. I know it's, you know, a first impression after not being here for three years and things change. But, um, you know, I am the kind of person that goes by my gut and my feelings. And this place just doesn't feel the same as it did before, if that makes any sense for you. Wow, guys, Lizzie spotted this picture here. Check it out. You can see the pier over there. And that was like before the restaurant was there. You can see there was more beach before. I guess not as much of it has disappeared as you would think since it says it was in the 1970s. But um, man, it feels like there's no beach now compared to back then. I don't know. It's hard to say. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think the beach has disappeared more or less since this picture was taken in the 70s? Maybe they did some beach restoration work last time I was here and that's why it was bigger. I'm not sure. But the beach looks quite a bit bigger back in the day than it looked right now visiting here in 2021. Oh, and by the way, in case you guys didn't see this on the way down, there's like this whole mobile park down here too. You can see all of them up there on the hill when you come down to the bottom of the cove. So it's not just a beach. It's also a place where you can live. So as I'm walking back up the hill here from Paradise Cove up to my free parked car, is it worth a visit? Well, I would say for 30 bucks, guys, it's definitely not. However, if you park for free on the street like I did and you're in the area and you have time to burn and come check it out, I would say come give Paradise Cove a visit because after all, it is pretty late in the day here and the last time I was here was in the middle of the day and the ocean just wasn't as strong that day. So who knows? Maybe it could be better than whatever I just showed you. Maybe not. Come find out for yourself. In the meantime, check out one of my next California videos right over here on the screen and I'll see you guys over there.